Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to review the Western Digital My Passport Portable Hard Drive and this is the 4TB version so this is the maximum capacity available in My Passport and it's got all the features, automatic backup, it's got 3 years warranty and you've got password protection, USB 3 works with Mac and PC. So let's go ahead and unbox this and we'll test out the transfer speeds on the computer. Alright guys, so here we are and I'm so excited about this thing. And hey, my favorite cup is back. You know, my best friend sent me this cup so it's kind of a lucky thing. That's why I keep it here. Anywho, let's go ahead and do the unboxing. You guys have already seen the box. It's quite compact. And this is the red color. You get several colors in these. And I think the red was the best looking one. So I already have the seal open. Let's take it out. Nice USB cable. So this is the box in which it comes in. Let's you know this kind of reminds me of those old lunch boxes you used to carry back in school. <laughs> anyway, this is the hard drive. That's the USB connection over there. That's the activity LED. You know, let's take this off. You should never leave this plastic packaging on the hard drive. It'll just probably just overheat and stick to the hard drive forever. Okay, so a quick size comparison with the Western Digital Elements. And this hard drive is actually around two to three years old. And this is one terabytes and this is four terabytes. So this there is not much difference in size actually. Considering this is a 4 terabyte drive and I think the USB connector is the same same cable um, Can be interchanged So yeah, and I kind of like the red color and we have instruction manual And I think this is the list of software that is available for Windows Western digital backup security drive utilities and I already use drive utilities. It's a nice program to check if your hard drive has any bad sectors and we have a USB 3 cable. Oh FYI the hard drive is actually fairly heavy so I don't think you can carry this in the uh, pocket of your jeans. So it weighs in at 243 grams that's fairly heavy and you can see it's quite thick. I think if you put this in the uh, if you put this in the pocket of your pants I think this will break or something so do get yourself a carrying case for this or uh, put this hard drive inside your bag. Okay so this computer that I have it's got USB 3 ports here on the top like this and I think there are more USB 3 ports at the back but since usually everyone connects their hard drive on the front of the PC I'm just going to connect it over here. You can see the LED lights up, a little bit of vibration that's completely normal. Alright guys, here we are on the desktop. Let's see if the hard drive has shown up and here it is and its formatted capacity is 3.63 terabytes. That's completely normal. That's the actual formatted capacity and this use space is because there is some software here provided by Western Digital. Alright guys, so I'm not going to install the software just yet. First, I want to see the transfer speeds. So here I have some files. So these are some pictures that I've taken with my camera and this has multiple files. So this one is 2.65 megabytes and some pictures are around 10 megabytes. In total, there are 1000 files. So there are a lot of pictures here. And then we have some wallpapers, wallpapers that I've downloaded on my phone. I just copied this, copied these two folders from my phone. So just so you know, we have a lot of files here. And again, these are quite huge files. Some of them 10, 10 megabytes, some of them are smaller. This one is 18 megabytes. And then we have some videos. Some of these are 4K videos. Some of these are 1080p videos. And the size of videos is uh, 30 gigabytes. And then we have some music. Size of music folder is 2.42 gigabytes. And we have 542 files. So these two wallpapers are about 1,132. 4.73 gigabytes and this should be 4.66 gigabytes 1000 files so first I'm going to copy and paste the pictures folder um, I don't know guys should I cut and paste this or should I copy and paste this uh, let's do a cut and paste so cut and I'm going to paste it in the 
external hard drive so let's go guys look at that speed that is crazy so we are getting 100 megabytes per second not mbps mbs megabytes per second also timing this and this is how the led light blinks when the hard drive is in use yeah that's very fast just look at the speed holy crap yeah because the because the c drive is in ssd uh, this thing breaks no sweat and we are done you can see computer is now once again idle the led is not blinking on the hard drive and it took 50 seconds so i wasted four seconds um stopping this thing so guys let's do the exact same thing to the videos folder so just control x and control v start the timer look at that 111 113 megabytes per second and the best part of having an ssd is even when you're copying this thing you can go ahead and easily use your computer you can see the ssd is breaking no sweat i can easily go ahead and launch programs shouldn't be an issue did you see that that is the biggest advantage of having an ssd you can launch the web browser see doesn't slow down and this is our passport Okay, almost there five seconds to go and it's done so it took four minutes and around 40 seconds for the uh, videos folder that was around 30 gigabytes to copy from the desktop to the portable hard drive that's very very respectable all right so let's copy these two wallpapers and this these two folders have around 1132 files so individual files uh different file sizes so cut and paste start the stopwatch all right so that took 51 seconds to copy these two wallpapers folders all right so now let's copy the remaining folder the music folder this one is 2.42 gigabytes big and it has 442 songs so once again cut let me just open it and show it to you so these are all these songs that are on this folder so just paste start the stopwatch okay so this one is a little bit slow still fairly fast oh yeah it's going at a breakneck speed stopwatch is running and it's done around 29 seconds so let's just take 30 seconds so you guys you can see all these files are now on the portable hard drive and these are around 41.8 gigabytes so i'm fairly happy with this hard drive so what i'm going to do now is restart the computer and then i'm going to just cut and paste this or just copy and paste this on my desktop back again so we'll see how the hard drive performs so first i'm going to restart this Alright guys, so here we are back again. So this time what I'm going to do is copy all of these files uh, together. So 42 gigabytes and there are 2683 files in 41 folders. Copy this time, not cut. So copy and paste on the desktop. So it looks like pretty much the same transfer speeds. Uh, it shows that it will take six minutes so let's see how much time does it actually take we are almost done guys so i think it's more or less the same total amount of time that it took to uh 
copy these files to the portable hard drive and from the portable hard drive to the computer and I think we must be hitting some sort of bottleneck yeah some sort of bottleneck with the USB ports but this is indeed a USB 3 port but anywho I'm still impressed it's fairly fast almost done 20 seconds to go Ten seconds. Five. And we are done. Stop the stopwatch. Six minutes, 22 seconds to copy 42 gigabytes worth of files from the portable hard drive to the computer. So guys, these two softwares are available for your My Passport hard drive. This one is called WD Drive Utilities and this will allow you to check your hard drives for any failures or any bad sectors. So you can just run your drive status check and then you can run a quick drive test. And you can also run a complete drive test but it will take a long time. So these are available for download uh, over here on Western Digital's web website. And I suggest you download this software from Western Digital's website. And that, that way you'll get the latest available software and i'll put these two links down in the video description so this one is called wd drive utilities and the second one is called wd security so you can set a password for your hard drive in case you don't want anyone to access your data and we are just waiting for this to complete by the way this wd drive utilities is also available here in the drive itself so it's right over here it's also available for mac so you can see this drive is completely fine no bad sectors at all everything is working fine so guys i'm gonna give this hard drive a big thumbs up because it is awesome we transferred around 42 gigabytes of files pictures videos and music this hard drive kept up without any problems and yep yeah, i think it's a great hard drive the transfer speeds were very very fast very respectable and on a capable hardware that means if you're using USB 3 and if your boot drive is a SSD, this hard drive will be very fast and you shouldn't have any troubles. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And if you find this video to be helpful, please press the thumbs up button and follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Subscribe to me on YouTube and I will see you guys next time.